I'm not sure how I feel about this. Like, internally, I'm screaming. But externally, I'm just perplexed. <laughs> Dead on the throne. Well, I mean, the toilet would be some people's thrones. I mean, when I'm in the restroom myself, squatting this way, I do feel like the king. Hey, everybody. Welcome back, Falcon. Dead in Bermuda. Let's get underway over here. So, at the end of the last episode, I said that we... Why is the screen moving slowly? I'm not even touching my mouse right now. It's so eerie. Stop it, game! You're freaking me out. Stop being possessed by the arcana spirits of this island. That's so weird. Um, at the end of the last episode, we remember Yuri's a bit injured. Or not Yuri, but um, Alejandro's a bit injured still, and Ileana as well. I was going to have, in the AM portion, have Ileana take care of um, Alejandro's last injuries, and then PM portion, we'd have Ileana worked, or get worked on by Winters. However, we don't have any more bandages, so thankfully I did realize that. So I'm going to have Yuri, instead of Scavenge, come over here and just um, make some bandages for us. You're going to obviously dry meals, and I guess since there's nothing much for you guys to do, I'll just have you have a little chat. Take care of the depression here a little bit, some of the fatigue, and that's that. You are resting for a fact, you're fishing, you're hunting, and you're doing some more harvesting, which is fine. Alrighty, let's come over here really quickly and find out more about these uh, red markings. Oh, cute animal, I remember you. The first time I ever saw you, you look cute, and you obviously still do. I tried to pet you, and what did you do? You bit me. You bit my hand. The hand that didn't really necessarily feed, but I probably would have. Had you been nice. So, I decided to hunt you the second time around, and this time around, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna fucking kill you. No, I'm... I'll try to make friends one more time, because obviously I never learned a lesson. We'll go with Julia, though, because she has the high stealth ability. Um, you know, she's got high fighting ability, so maybe the injury won't be too bad. You approach the little animal cautiously with some plants in hand, and he seemed to be enjoying. You manage to get really close, you start petting him. On the heading, suddenly freezes, bites your hand, and runs away in the bushes. I hate that animal so much. Luckily, our injury was actually relatively low. We lost some medicinal plants, but that's okay. I never learned a lesson, right? Bamboo ticket. I remember you last time. You did nothing for me at all. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. We'll have Alejandro take care of this, too. Just because I'm going to level up the stealth a bit more, and if you get injured, it's fine. We still have to take care of you in the PM portion. I found nothing from doing that. Well, that's swell. We can now meditate or cut bamboos. I eh, don't really care about either one of those, really. So, gigantic seashell. Let's try to open it up. Why not? We need strength for this. We need Yuri. Yuri strong. Yuri big. He doesn't have high stealth, though, so that's going to be a problem. Yeah. So he's going to probably take a few injuries here. Well, you know, that's basically the point of the game that we're at here. Just taking injuries. Oh, why did you get a small little guy? We've been being attacked by these huge crabs and, like, rams or whatever they are, and you get a small little crab. Well, I guess that's fine. We pry it open for two miracle potions, agent knowledge, and that's about it. A little bit of fatigue as well. Not a big problem. Next one. Lost backpack. These are usually pretty good. Scavenging. We'll have Alejandro take a swing at this one as well. Usually find some pretty good stuff from the backpack, so I'm curious about this. Scavenging plus one. Ginseng juice. Dried meals. Binoculars. Good. I don't even think we need binoculars anymore if I'm right. Binoculars are for exploring new terrain? Yeah, exploration. We're already maxed out on that, so I mean, whatever. I'll just hold on to it for now. I'm not sure how I feel about this. Like, internally, I'm screaming. But externally, I'm just perplexed. <laughs> Dead on the throne. Well, I mean, the toilet would be some people's thrones. I mean, when I'm in the restroom myself, squatting this way, I do feel like the king. I do feel like the king indeed. This guy felt like the king too long, and he apparently just died there. Alrighty, let's um, inspect this one. This is actually really interesting. A skeleton wearing a strange religious outfit is sitting on a toilet. That's what happens when you take a good book with you while you're doing your thing. Okay. That or a little nudie magazine, am I right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, we can search around, and we will. Alejandro, you are the perfect candidate for this type of uh, scenario. You failed. Oh my god! Oh, come on, dog. I'm never gonna continue, like, you know, get your injuries under control here. I found some magazines near the toilet. Scientific magazines, some Sudokus. Wow, that's a lot of magazines, really. Um, that's gonna be to increase some of our stats, right? Now, the problem here is that I think, uh, let's see, who needs some of these, and what do they do again? Intelligence plus five, this is for knowledge, and this is for discussion. Okay, we might as well use the knowledge ones to max out whoever's close to being maxed out, right? So let's go to skills here. Knowledge, 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 knowledge. Jacob is 72, Ileana's at 98. I guess a backup person in Jacob wouldn't be too bad. 
At least in my mind, it probably wouldn't be too bad. All right, Jacob, let's um go ahead and max you out in knowledge, my friend. Or not max you out, but at least come close to it. So, knowledge is power. There you go, up to 87. Good. Next one. Intelligence and discussion. Alrighty, let's see here. Discussion and intelligence is what we're looking for. Discussion, discussion. 97, 73. Mmm. We could get Alejandro kind of maxed out, close to it anyway. So, yeah, let's just toss him on Alejandro here. Use item. Boom. And boom. 84 is a good number to have. Alrighty. Sudoku Intelligence. Who could benefit from getting close to maxing this one out? Intelligence, Intelligence, let's see, 99, so you're fine. I guess we could go with Julia, of all people, or Winters. I think we're gonna go with Winters, though. She might be more beneficial from the Intelligence-based things, assuming it has anything to do with the medical ability. So, boom, boom, and boom. Alrighty. That's done with. Good stuff. Oh, wait, wait, we're not done exploring Old King on the Throne here. No, we're not. Search the body and search inside the toilet. That's probably a big skeleton dookie in there. Let's search the body first, though, right? Actually, no. Let's start off with the toilet. Why not? Uh, scavenging and depression. This is gonna cause depression, huh? Alrighty, well, let's give it a try. We're gonna have you have a little powwow anyway, so you should be fine. It's disgusting, but you managed to scavenge some smelly and stained fabric deep inside the toilet bowl. Ugh. Oh, he was probably wiping with that before he died. And he was here for a long, long time. Alrighty, and the last one is search the body. This requires stealth and fighting, so we'll have Julia go after this one instead. Alright, let's see what we have here. 97, we definitely passed it. You take that and the bones away. Another stone tablet, another ancient knowledge. Okay, skull, and that's about it. Good. Alrighty, so we're done with that. Old Skeleton King is basically done with here. Oh, this might be Athena. So let's ignore her for a while and continue coming down here. We, we at least know where Athena's at now. Claw food. Claw foot tub, not food. Apparently I'm hungry. Well, I did skip breakfast and lunch. I am a bit hungry, actually. Uh, let's search the claw foot tub here. And I guess we'll probably do that with... Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Your injury is high enough as it is, dog. Can't really risk it anymore, so we'll have uh, Julia over here come and take a little swing in here. There's a giant spider in the tub. It bites you ferociously, but you manage to knock it down with several punches of its hairy body. Ugh! Good God, Julia's over here fighting spiders. We got five fresh meat, plus one agility. A little bit of illness, though, and some injury. Nothing too serious, luckily. Let me come over here, and before I forget, let's take care of this um, illness here. That's probably because of the poison, I would imagine, so... Alrighty. Next one. Big fig tree. I don't like you whatsoever. You give me such a small quantity of fruit, so I almost feel like uh, chopping you down after I'm searching you. So for harvesting, we'll go to winter. She'll take a lot of injury, though, because of the stealth. So, you know what? Let's just go with, um... Oh, but you already hurt, too. Mmm. Boy, oh boy. You know what? I'm gonna bypass on this one for now. Let's go over here. X marks the spot. Let's go ahead and dig it up. And we will do this with Julia as well. I think she's resting in the AM portion, so even if she gets tired, it's not a big deal. Six dried meals. And fatigue. That's fine. You're resting anyway. Back to the camp. Yeah. Alright, you guys. So let's go ahead and go forward, and we will do the rest of these, um... Maybe in the PM portion. So you're making bandages, you guys are just chatting it up. This is um, relatively good. I want this to happen, so let's go forward. Medicinal plants. Fabric. One bandage and one go. Excellent. Alrighty, we need a few of these because a lot of our people are a little bit hurt right now, unfortunately. Fatigue went up, that's okay, you're still relatively cool. Seven dried meals, alright. More food is always great as well. You guys, I just had you hang out here for the hell of it, really, but your depression went down to zero, which is great. That was actually quite high up, too. You guys get along even better. Oh, well, Liana's got the little schoolgirl crush on him, so there you go. Fatigue down to zero. And then two fish only. I'm so glad I started hunting because, um, you know, Bob has not been bring, bringing in the harvest recently. Six fresh meat. All right. And how many fruit are we getting here? How much fruit, Winters? Six. All right, great. So let's go back to the old usual thing here. So you go to the campfire. And you go to the campfire as well. Julia, you will now go to hunting. Good. Ileana, you're gonna come over here and how injury is 42. You know what? I think we need Winters for this one. So yeah, let's just have Winters take care of that one. She'll probably give him the bigger boost from um, injury than Ileana would. So we'll have you do that. Ileana, for now, you just hang out with these guys, have a good time over here. Uh, how much food do we have left over? We have ooh, a lot of food left over. So we'll do some more meals and we will also do 
Well, that's actually it. I'm not gonna have any people dry because I need Yuri to continue making more bandages for us. So you stay here. This is a good setup. Yes. Let's find out what the rest of these uh, red markers might be. Pile of seaweed. Ah, uh, sure, I guess we'll search it. Why not, Julia? Stelled 100%. Success, and... Two rotten food. That was well. <laughs> that was well worth the time. Ooh, marble chest. Yeah, let's search it out. Julia, take another swing at it. I'm gonna have some water here, meanwhile. Fire crystal. And that's about it. All right. What do we have down here? Mushroom circle. Um, yes, let's uh, go ahead and search him. I'm, I'm scared of just eating mushroom from the ground. I don't know what's in there, you know? Uh, we'll use Ileana. Apparently, her high stealth and knowledge might be really useful for this one. Success. Alrighty. Stealth even went up higher. And there were edible, maybe? Yes, three happy mushrooms. Six meals as well. Wow. That's actually quite surprising. Five more. Oh my god. Okay. Mm, I could talk to him, but I don't want to do that just yet. Uh, I want to do the Athena thing before we talk to this guy first. He seems a little bit kind of um, eerie for me. Let's search this out. Uh, Alejandro, you're going to be taken care of by Winter soon, so, you know, we might as well go for you. Sure. Good luck, dog. Stealth 79? Come on, oh, come on, how do you fail that one? You got Big Bunny attacking me now, 52. All right, it's fine. Winters will take care of you. I've got some stone out of this, and that's about it. Ooh, joy. Got some stone. We got some Dwayne the Rocks. I'm not going to do the voice, or am I? I'm not going to do the voice, because I am the rock. That's the voice. A uh, pile of bones. Search. Yeah. Oh, you get hurt again. <laughs> Let's just leave that alone. Let's just leave that alone. Military plane wreck. That's something we can do. We'll have, uh, Julia... Sure, we'll have Julia go for this one as well. Stealth 100. Oh, perfect. And... Scavenging plus one. One more coffee cup. 19 water supplies. Depression went up, but that's okay. 19 water supplies. Plus, we got coffee that we could actually counteract that if I really felt like it. And last thing that we have to check... Out. Another blue dude. So, this guy might be related... So this little monkey here. Okay, uh... <laughs> <laughs> so we have two really big ones to look forward to, and that is, uh, Dude with Monkey, and then Scrawny Dude. But before I even talk to those people, I want to go with the quest a little bit forward and talk to Athena now. So that's going to be my main goal here. Let's go back to the camp, and let's go forward here. So you're going to be treating him, you're going to make more bandages, you're going to make some meals, you guys will have a powwow, and that's about it. Okay, let's go forward. We have now completely covered up the map in terms of, um, you know, finding out what's... Oh, not enough to make it! That's because, because of the fatigue. Alrighty. Come on! Yeah! Injury zero. Perfect. Thank you, Winters. Uh, let's see what you have for me. Eight tasty meals. Five regular meals. Alrighty. I think we still have some food left over, too. And we're gonna have some more when um, Julia's done hunting over there as well. You guys got along splendidly as well. And let's see, Julia, what do you have for me? Nine fresh meat. Really amazing hunter she is. You really wouldn't expect it when you look at Julia, you know? Alrighty. And again, no nighttime event this time around. Cool. Um, so... Let's see here. Uh, we have a bunch of regular meals. 18 and 14. Wow, we we have so much food. Well, we might as well start off with the shitty ones. Just get those out of the way. Hoss them around. Ba 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 ba. I get around. Ba 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 how, excuse me. You pal with the best of them, Jacob, and Winters. Winters, don't... Winters, let's not do this right now, okay? And we'll give you a fruit. Alrighty. Wow, we, we have so much food. Let's go forward. People are wounded still. That's okay, I understand that. We need some more bandages, though. We need to make those in, like, huge bulk. So, Alejandro, you're fine now. I don't think I need you scavenging, so let's just have both of you... Actually, you'll finish this up. Yuri, you take your rest now, because I don't want you... I need you... Cleared up from fatigue so you could actually make more bandages. You are going to go ahead and do what? We still have some more food left over. Let's have you try to dry some more of the extra food. Winters will have you. Your fatigue is really low still. So we'll have you come to just harvest. You are going to go to... Depression's really quite high. You know what? Let's just deal with that with some coffee because we have so much extra of it. And... One more should just about do it. There you go. So you're fine. 
Uh, your injury is a bit high. We will take care of that at some point. You just have a, um, you know, just have a, actually. Yeah, just hang out there. It's okay. Um, Jacob, you go back to hunting bow. You go back to fishing rod. And you are going to, your injury is still high. But I need more bandages for that. Um, well, I'm really not sure what you should do. And just go out with, um, Winters. Why not? That's fine. This is cool. That's fine. That's what I want happening. Alrighty. Let's go forward here and get some more bandages. I want to take care of the injuries before we continue with the Athena thing more than likely. Uh, bandage plus one. Excellent. Fatigue went up a little bit. Not a big concern. How many dried meals? Only four? Oh, never mind. Use the fish too. Seven. Excellent. Fatigue down to zero. Great. I could have you going back to the bandage working over here. How much fish this time around? Zero! Wow, we So recently he's brought in, what, two, one, and is now zero. Thank God for Jacob pulling in the slack now. Bob, you really have become useless as much as Jacob was complaining about earlier on. But again, Bob did make us survive for quite a long time here, so I can't really be too upset about it. Alrighty. You go back to the old campfire, and so will you. Julia, let's rotate you over to the hunting bow now. Uh, Yuri, come over here and work on bandages again. That's what you guys are working on, right? Yes. Perfect. And let's see. Let's take care of another injury now. Winters and Ileana's at 32, so yeah, we'll take care of her. Medic. And on over here. I think that's the only people with injuries right now, right? 32? Actually, that's not true. We have Julia a little bit injured as well. We'll take care of that afterward. Now, you're actually quite tired, Alice. So I need to give you some rest at some point. I haven't given you a rest because now I have you cooking all times of the day because we have so much food. Um, so here is what I'm thinking we do. We'll have you cook some meals today, and then tomorrow we'll have you rest. And this is fine. Let's go forward. Make me another bandage, guys. There you go. One go. Perfect. Now we have an extra one for more than likely Julia, because I think Ileana should be able to be cleared up today by... Yeah. Down to zero. By Winters. Perfect. I'll give you some rest soon, Alice. Don't you worry. Eight tasty meals, five regular meals, perfect. You guys will have a little sit-down fatigue, depression, chat. Can't believe how amazing those two guys get along. Like, if you ever saw Bob and Jacob, you think they're the least person, like, the least likely people to get along together, but, you know, hey, there you go. Alrighty. Are oh, you telling me I'm worried about this? You bringing my hunger up? You could actually bring me up to 100 hunger. I think I have enough food, yeah, easily, to bring down everybody's hunger from down to 100 if I wanted to. I mean, don't do it, game. I'm just saying that if you really wanted to, you could be a jerk about it. Uh, let's see here. Let's, uh, yeah, I think it's toss more of these around. We have so many barely edible food over here. It's, it's just ridiculous. So crazy. Look, just, just take them all. Bob, I know you have a big belly here. You like food. Here, take all the barely edible ones. You you have no complaints against that. And there you go. Alrighty. So now, toss this over here, and that over there, through here. Boom. 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 Seven? Yeah, I'll give you a meal. That's fine. Three? Uh, take another meal. That's fine. Meals for everybody. And that's fine. That's it, right? Yeah. Forward. I think we need to stoke the old fire right now. Check fire intensity, convert it to 100, perhaps? How much water do we have? Like, I'm worried about this, right? 132, yeah, I think we're fine. Alrighty, you come over to a uh, sleeping area for now? I mean, you're not really... Injury is what you're looking for. I think we have an extra bandage, so let's take care of your injury now. Uh, Ileana, you know what, let's have, let's have Ileana do it, because um, I want her leveling up her medic a little bit more. Plus, Julia's injury isn't really too sustainable, so it's not a big deal. So you come over here. You come over there. You need to rest today for a fact, so take a day off. A hunting bow and fishing rod. And this is good. Winters, you'll do that, and this is excellent. How are you guys looking? Perfect. You're a little bit tired, but so fine. Make some more bandages and we're good to go. I think, um, PM portion, we do some... We do the Athena thing. So right now we just skip forward one more time. I just want to get rid of the injuries, and then we'll go back to the uh, Athena thing over here. So another bandage, great. Good to go. We'll give Alejandro a rest, more than likely, in the PM portion. This should take care of her injuries. Great. No medic ability up for her. Fatigue down to 8. Excellent. And how much food are we going to be bringing for today? Two fresh fish. Ugh. Bob, it's like you just gave up. Bob just gave up. He's like, why should I even work now? Jacob's the better hunter, or the better food provider. Alrighty, good. Let's um set these people up for our nightly purposes here. We have to make meals, because we have way too much food that we actually dry. Um, Julia, you're fine. Ileana, fatigue a little bit as well. 
No depression, though, so let's just have you rest. You have to go and hunt for today. So you go back to the campfire. Campfire. You come over here and hunt, and you... You know, I don't think I need any more fruit, so just take a little bit of a rest here. I think that's quite alright. And you know what? Uh, we're fine with the bandages now. Alejandro needs to rest, but I kind of want to give... I want to dry a few extra food, so... No, let's just have you dry meals then, and then you just rest. Yeah. Okay, this is fine. And let's go and talk to Athena finally. This is perfect. Nope, don't skip forward, Falcon. Alrighty, Athena's gonna be right here, right? Alrighty, guys, so let's do some more questing here. She's got an owl. I think it's an owl, anyway. Looks like an owl. On... She, it looks like she's riding this, um, branch with the skull of some animal. And the owl is, um, you know, has, uh, obviously, he's chained to this thing, like a dog. It's kind of weird. Alrighty, let's talk to, um, we can search around her first? Uh, sure, why not? What's the worst that could possibly happen by searching around this humongous blue woman? I found some green liquid. Ugh, I'm not even sure what. That probably came from. Sure, if you want to call it ginseng juice, that's fine. Leave it up to that. Let's talk to her, though. Who will perform this action? I think Ileana's going to be the good one for this one, right? High stealth and high discussion. So, yeah. Ileana. The woman seems really busy doing things that don't really make any sense to you. Right now, she is riding a big branch like a horse, going around and around, sometimes still for a while. Yeah, that's what I mentioned. That's kind of weird. <laughs> At least the game is f fully aware of it. To get her attention, you must follow, stand right in front of her nose. Oh, you must almost stand right in front of her nose. I'm not sure how you even would... How would you even, like, enunciate, enunciate this right here? What does the sun gain when everything is sacred? A pope or an emperor? So weird. Um, the hangman waits for no man, but she is a strain in the sun. I'm looking for the cure for Zeus's strands. That's actually what we're trying to do. <laughs> nice owl you have. No, I'm looking to get Zeus out of his trance here. Justice is in the house of God. Rejoice, fool, or dead shall dance with the moon. 42? An African or a European owl? Waka waka hey hey. Uh, 42? Sure, why not? The hangman waits for no man, but she is a star in the sun. Okay, she's not making any sense whatsoever for us. So, um... Let's talk about the owl then. I bought a chariot of fortune for the hermit, the frog. Is this a riddle? <laughs> oh, it's, it kicked me back out. Okay. Talk some sense, woman! Lovers and devil entwined into the revenge of doom and dark. Do you have mushrooms for me? Look behind you, a three-headed monkey. I saw another owl once in this jungle. Let's go with that one. I bought a ch- oh, I'm not sure what am I supposed to be doing here. Uh... I go owl in. We are the chosen ones, baby. Yes, sure. She pauses for five minutes without saying a thing, her eyes turning back. Find a tree of death in the jungle near, and the cure shall be brewed. Oh, okay. There we go. Wow, we finally did it. Find a tree of death. Now, we did see a tree somewhere, right? With the, um... I think we did. No, I don't want to talk to you right now. I don't want to talk to you either. We saw a tree of dead. I'm pretty sure we saw like a tree with the arcana numbers, right? That's not it. That's not it. going to be it either. Nope. Here we go. There we go. Dead old tree. That's got to be it. So let's go ahead and search it out. And I guess this time around we go with uh, Julia again. Got the best chance of um, doing this. That's without a doubt the tree of dead Athena was talking about. You instantly notice a small leather bag hanging from the tree? It's weird, you don't remember seeing it before. The ground is covered by bones in front of the tree. Uh, <laughs> take the bag. Don't mess with the bones, I guess. You carefully move towards the tree and grab the bag. You instantly feel that many things are moving in this bag. You don't feel very well. As soon as you start walking away from the tree, the skeleton hand pops out on the ground and try to grab your leg. This can't be real, intelligence, or run agility. I guess we have to go with intelligence for this one. That's the highest one that we do have, and luckily we did succeed. You close your eyes and try to calm down for a while. You feel your feet being grabbed by skeleton hands, but you continue to breathe deeply. After a while, you don't feel the grabbing anymore. You open your eyes and the path is clear. You look into the bag and see a bunch of disgusting worms. So we got a bag of worms. Alrighty, so this is going to be for Athena? Yes. Go back to Athena. Talk to you. And uh, I guess we'll go back with Ileana over here. You already have a little bit of a repertoire. You bring back the bag of worms from Athena. As soon as she sees it in your hand, she grabs it and runs, hiding behind some bushes nearby. You don't you hear her counting. One, two, three, in a childish voice. Four, five, six, between hysterical giggling. Six, 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 done. She gives you a small potion. Go now. I'm busy. 
The potion smells like french fries and donuts. It's an awkward combination of a smell, but let me tell you. I am not against donuts or french fries. Back to camp. Okay, and now we could go and, I guess, presumably, talk to Zeus or try to wake Zeus up, right? Yes. But we're going to do that next episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up. Leave a like. The support doesn't mean a lot. Is the next episode the last one? I'm not sure. Maybe. I think we're getting really close, but we still have to talk to those two other people, so maybe it's not. I'm not sure. But either way, guys, tune in. I will catch you next time.